Hi, welcome to the Breaking the Status Quo course. Uh, my name is Makran. I'm an executive coach. And I was thinking that currently that all of us are dealing this COVID times. Most companies, most organizations, most small business owners, most individuals, professionals, even people who traditionally wouldn't be doing work per se to make money, but everybody's dealing with this situation in, in a different way. All of us are caught up and trying to see how we can break this monotony. What can we change in our lives that can bring us some more beautiful memories, uh, a change in our lifestyles, something that will be as important as make, making sure that our business survives. Uh, for large organizations, this could mean how do we pivot our products? How do we pivot our services? And to put that in mind, I decided to put a course together, which is called as Breaking the Status Quo. Uh, and this is a do-it-yourself course. So I'm just going to give you some guidelines and you'll find the, uh, the tools that are necessary to be downloaded and you can do it. I did a team, you can do it yourself, you can do it with family members, you can do it with leadership team. The world is a world is a monster, you can do it with you want. Uh, the, uh, the only, only thing, thing that you need to remember is that pick up pick just up one just problem one area problem. and then try to dice it through and find solutions that can go forward. So uh, here goes. I'm going to share my screen and show you the template of how to do this. So uh, as you can see, uh, it says uh, there are, it, it, it works on three premises. What if, what now and what next? Uh, the sentences are self-explanatory. Uh, uh, what I mean by what if is that what if something changes for the better? What if something changes for, uh, for the worst? What if, uh, say, for example, you are saying that my business is not growing and my customers are not buying. And uh, the question that grapples you is that what if they stop buying my products completely? What if uh, they are asking for a price cut? What if uh, I won't have employment? What if I'm not able to generate enough income to run my family? This, this could be anything. So just take a real life example, uh, uh, any real, maybe even a hypothetical situation that what if they want more business from me? What if I'm not able to supply what they want? Yeah. And, and write what if, and if we experience this situation and just take a few minutes to fill this. Um, and once you have filled it, then we'll go to the next step. So I'm going to take a pause here. Uh, you can pause the video here. Uh, look at the worksheet, yeah, you could download it from the uh, course area and then uh, you can just do it. Or if you don't even want to download it, you can make this on a piece of paper. It's a simple worksheet and I'll pause here for a moment. All right. Lovely. Now that you're back and you've filled the sheet, uh, all you need to do is mark these, uh, these uh, statements that you have written. Maybe there are five, six, seven, just mark them with an asterisk that these are the most critical areas. We are going to use these statements later on in, in, in the program uh, or in the course, uh, but for now, just mark them as with an asterisk. Okay, lovely. Let's move forward. Now, once you have done this, uh, what you need to look at is what now can I do with this? Write the things that you don't do in your current business or personal environment. It could be, uh, we don't uh, uh, give any additional services to our customers. We don't give them uh, value added services to our customers. We don't look at their workflow. We don't look at uh, supply chain for them. We don't manage their inventory. There are things that we, we, we uh, don't do right now or do right now. Take a few minutes and write those. In a personal environment, it could be, I don't do or I don't have multiple sources of income. Uh, I, I am not saved enough. I, I have uh, not bothered to take care of my insurance. Could be anything. So just write down those what I am doing or we are doing currently and just uh, take a few minutes to write down. I'll give you a pause and uh, pause your video here and fill this sheet uh, fully. If you're doing this in a team, collaborate and do it together. Don't try to rush each other, listen to each other and then fill the sheet. Lovely. You have filled this and now it's the next step. Just like the previous step, you can mark the most critical ones with an asterisk Again, I'll tell you what to do with those. Uh, right now, don't worry about that and just move forward. What are we going to do next? Write things that you could do in the future for your business or personal environment. We could give customers a payment plan. We could have engineers sitting on site and charge a fee for that. Uh, we could take care of their um, operational needs. Uh, the 
it could be anything. Uh, you know your business better. You know your personal life better. Uh, try and write those uh, statements and see how it works. Again, if you're doing it in a team or within family, listen to each other. Be patient. Don't try to rush. This is an exercise to break the status quo, not break each other's mind. So be free and just keep doing that. Pause this video and then complete this exercise. Once you're done, then you can restart this video. Super, you're back. Once again, mark the most critical one with an asterisk. And now is what you're going to do with this. Uh, let's go to the next steps. What you did with what if, the top things that you had marked, bring them on into this sheet and write them down. It could be three numbers, it could be four numbers, it could be five, if there are more, add, add those rows and see if these are really possible or not. So if you might have said, what if we do this or what if this is happening, our customers will completely stop taking products from us. Is this possible? Yes, no. If it is a yes, what is the worst case or a best case scenario if this happens? Write that down. How can you or the team leverage this situation? Yeah, what can you do in this? Uh, resources needed if this changes. If this has to happen, what resources would you need? This is a very elaborate sheet. It won't happen in five or 10 minutes. It needs some deep thinking, but indulge yourself, talk to your team members, talk to your family members if you're doing it together and fill this. And the last important thing is, should we action this? Yeah, should we action this? Write a yes and no. Do this for the next uh, five statements or three statements that you have written. And only when you have done this, move to the next step. Pause this video here and complete those exercises first. Great, you have done that. Uh, I'm sure by now you must have gotten some clarity in terms of what is possible, what could change, what are the resources you need. So let's look at the next steps. Uh, here, what you need to do is, amongst those top ones that you brought here, circle the ones which are the most critical ones and the most possible ones, yeah? If you have marked them, yes, this is going to be action and they are more than two or three, maybe just mark one of that and bring and keep it ready. Uh, but right now, just mark it with a circle or you could highlight it to some other color. The next step is what now? Uh, in what now, same, bring those uh, aspects, mark points into this sheet. Should I, uh, we should continue doing whatever we are doing. Should I not invest in money, money in my family? Should I not take more insurance? If the answer is no, probably the answer should be yes, but uh, look at your, your life and your capacities and your needs and then answer whether you should continue or not. What can be changed in this situation? Is there something that you could change in this situation? Can you start small? Can you do something which is important for your family or your business that you could do here? What is the key benefit if you acted on this? What is the one tough benefit that you could get your business, your family or your personal life that you can gain or as an individual careerist or an executive, what could the key benefit Again, what are the resources you need to action this? Do you need to action this or not? Yes and no. Same thing, uh, the, all the points do this and pause the video and once you have done that, only then move to the next step. Lovely. Super. Now that you have finished this sheet, again, circle the most important ones that you need to take forward and don't do anything with that yet, just circle it. Maybe it's one point or two point. I would recommend not more than two just to make life simpler because there is so many things to be done in life. Don't add to it, take the most critical ones and let's move forward with that. Now what next? You might have thought on, you might have said you have some crazy innovative ideas. Now look at these ideas, bring them here, all the asterisks mark and see if this is within reason. What I mean by within reason is that, is this really logical that you could do it in the short term? Uh, if it is a long term, park it aside. But if it's in the short term, it, this is about breaking the status quo. So you need something to be done right now. So if it is yes, just mark it a yes. How can I or we implement this? Again, brainstorm with your team that what could we need to do to implement this right now in this moment? Because we can't wait for three weeks. We can't wait for three months. We've got to act right now. So what can we do? If we do this, what is the key differentiator that I'm going to get in my marketplace or in my life or in my business? Could be anything but write it down, spell it out. Because once you identify the key benefit and the key differentiator, it gets a life of its own. It gives you reason to move forward. Once again, if you need to do this, what are the resources involved in doing this? And should we action this or not? After doing all this, you will be the resources are too high and it's not within reason to do that. Maybe you were a little going out of the back thing. What is possible? The resources is not, it's not. It's not. Just say no, say no. Go to the next point. Next point. You must have had something like this right now. Right. The point the is point making the status quo. Don't worry about, don't worry the, about the best, best idea, idea or the most novel idea. It's all about how can we change the current situation. So don't get hung up on your ideas. 
just move with the one which is the most logical, the most easiest, and probably needs the least, least money to move forward. Once again, take a few minutes to finish this exercise and we'll come back to it in some few minutes. Great. So now that you have done this, once again, the same drill, mark the most important ones with a circle. Uh, you could highlight it, but circle, take only one point, two points. I'll reiterate, don't try to take too many points, maybe two, two points on each sheet. And that's all. That's all you need to do because that's enough to break the status quo. If you have done this exercise thoroughly and with attention and with proper collaboration with your team members, I'm sure this is going to help you. So let's go to the next step. Now look at what things can be implemented immediately. All the things that you have circled on page number five, six, and seven, the ones that you said these are to be implemented, bring them here and say, we could implement this. Now this is only if everybody within the room, if you're doing it individually, lovely, it's, it's your call. But if there are more than two or three members doing this exercise, then make sure that everybody has a consensus and a vote. And we all agree because once we agree, then there's no looking back. Because if somebody says yes, and then doesn't fully comply in implementing it, it's, it's a wasted idea. You lose money, time, this was everything. So first take the consensus. Maybe you need to vote with the number of ideas. Uh, you have, you have, if you have five, six, seven, in each place you have three ideas, that's 15 ideas, isn't it? Nine ideas. Now, if you have nine ideas and you feel that you want to implement only two or three, just vote and choose. But once you choose, don't look back. Just go and implement it because this stage of ideation is done and start implementing it and see if this can help you move forward. So that's, that's how, how this, this process works. Breaking the status quo is all about finding a process to find things that we can do right now within the resources that we have without spending too much money, without taking too much time. I'm sure if you have done this exercise very diligently, this should, shouldn't have taken not more than two hours or maybe an hour. Uh, again, this is not a, not a, not a panacea of a solution. You can keep reiterating on this, try to revisit this and see if there is something that you have missed. And if these points didn't get implemented properly, look at the balance ones that you could have done and then bring them on the sheet, again agree, and then move forward. I hope this thing helps you in moving forward. And my endeavor for you, uh, all of you is that together we can break the status quo and we will defeat the current situation because the human spirit is uh, indefeatable. Um, it has got infinite potential. All we need to do is keep our emotions a little aside, think objectively and take action. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. If you feel this is a course that you liked or this tool is that you like, please share it with your friends and family members, professionals. Uh, do leave your comments in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer those. Uh, thank you very much and wish you the best. Bye-bye.